Hello and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Last episode, uh, I do believe we built some guns. We uh, started building a roof. And I left you guys off while I was going to work on the roof. And I have worked on the roof. It took me longer than expected. Uh, I spent a lot of time drilling for iron and then welding. And then back to drilling for iron and welding up some more. And back to drilling and some more welding. And more welding. Took a lot of time. And what just happened? My welder just disappeared. But my hand's still there. But, but whatever, space engineers. Okay. But I can now show you what I have done. So, turn the camera around, and uh, here it is. Still down there. I have welded up the new roof section, and I've also put up six wind turbines that are going to bug some people because uh, they're not exactly lined up to the existing wind turbines. I wasn't thinking when I placed these two up here, I should have put them all the way out to the edge, about the edge of this part. Uh, so when I placed those ones, I did. So they're not gonna line up, but to the people that bothers, I'm not gonna change it. But you can see that uh, these wind turbines are doing their thing, spinning away. Uh, these ones are not. And that's because that roof section is not technically connected to the base. It is only being held on by the uh, piston. So, what we need to do is uh, put the welder away. And uh, we need to raise the roof. Unintended. We actually need to raise up the roof. So, I'm going to uh, come back downstairs. And come over here to the piston. Oh, I uh, have a little test set up. So, right now I have some stone and iron that is ready to be processed by the refinery. But the refinery is not currently working because it doesn't have enough power from those four wind turbines to work and I was stealing power from the rover all the time with its batteries but right now the rover is not connected to the base so the refinery is not working so when we raise the roof and connect it to the base those wind turbines should start working and the goal is to have enough power to actually be running the refinery and then and the machinery that's over there everything's red because not enough power all right so come here to the piston and uh raise the roof and then i'm going to pop back to the camera here turn it around and uh bring it up here uh, watch the roof come up so we should see these two merge blocks here connect to each other like that and yep yeah, wind turbines are spinning so now I got all the wind turbines so I should have all the power so oh, we got some green machinery over there and refinery is green it is working all right that is beautiful so that means I now have enough power to run my base without having the rover connected and I got a lot more welding to do now it looks silly with just a roof floating up there with no walls to reach it uh, but that's a project for another day 
for now, we uh, we need to uh, increase the number of uh, buildings we have got going on over there. Because I don't want to get rid of that bench. That bench is way too slow, and we have a transport courier going in the other direction. Okay. So, what I've started here is an expansion onto the uh, production building over here. And uh, two framework buildings I have placed down there is a wire drawer, which will be making all the copper wire for us. And the extruder, which will be making the small and large tubes. So that will be two jobs that I will not need the bench for anymore. And these buildings have conveyor ports on the ends here. So I can actually uh, connect them to the conveying system. And then I don't have to manually feed them like I do this bench. They'll just pull from my inventory to make the things that I want and dump those things into my inventory, which would be awesome. But this building, I'm not exactly sure how I want to exactly design it. Because if I left the space open in the middle because I was thinking about running the conveyoring system uh, underneath the floor and have catwalks. But I need the conveyors to come out of these which will block the middle. So that means I will have to have a ramp up. Probably. Ramp up. I think that'll be good. Alright, so I'm gonna start. Getting the uh, conveying systems laid out here. Let's grab this here, throw that down. Uh, and I need steel plate, which is right here. Grab a bunch of that. Alright, so we. Just put it across in there and hmm. What do I actually want there? Nah, we'll put a junction in there. And then we will scroll through. And put these guys going out to there. And then that so then it can continue on and go up then like that and then well that's not the one I want to use where's the one I wanted to use scroll through all the lists all right like that and get stuck immediately. Ugh. I think that works. So I'll weld those up and then I'll have a catwalk. I think I'll just have a oh really close to the wall though. I'll probably just get rid of the wall. Just expand the whole room. Yeah, I think so. 
Maybe that's what I'll do. Because I'll have the wall out here. Build that up. And then I'll just have the catwalk ramp up over top of the machines. And I could walk along over top. I think that works. Alright. I will, uh... Get this built up and working and, uh... Show you guys what it looks like once it's built. Alright guys, well I got the, uh... Two machines built up and they are conveyor it up and uh, so yeah this is the extruder up and working it's uh, constantly inserting that pipe into that other pipe um, guess that's pretty cool and then on the other side here we got our wire drawer which is uh, just filling up the spool full of wire and then uh, it's all compared up, I built it up, and then I actually built up my catwalks as well. So then I can walk up over top and uh, built the catwalks on top of the machines as well, so I could uh, eventually walk over here with guardrails so I don't fall off. And then eventually I will continue on as we build more machines. Which I did notice that there is one thing that this bench is still making, and that is motors. So we have one more piece of machinery to go before I can uh, not use this bench anymore. And apparently that uh, last machinery is just the assembler. Which produces comms and medical components, acid power cells, motors, solar cells, capacitors, and cryo coolers. Capacitors and cryo coolers, I have no idea what those are, but solar cells, I do know about. And motors, I also know about. Solar cells means I can make solar panels, so instead of relying on just the winds, I can make some solar panels and soak up some of the sun energy as well. I mean, you guys know how solar panels work. But, that's interesting. Because while these machines were running as I was uh, welding up these components, I still ran into some slight power issues. I'm still not quite making enough power. So, if I were to slap a couple uh, solar panels on the roof, or maybe even the roof of this building, once I actually have a roof on it, uh, my power situation will be, well, better, of course. Always need more power. And if you don't need more power, then you need to do something that takes more power, so then you will need more power. But, uh, I'm happy. These machines are up and running. And it sounds like everything's all quiet, so everything's all done, or just, um, out of components. That, that could be something that is just out of as well. Was that copper? I have 0.85 there, and oh, in my refinery over there, I got 369. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, I have seven tubes. Oh, seven tubes probably going here. Ah, still not enough. Okay. Let's uh grab those tubes out of there and finish up. And this looks terrible. This red catwalk red building. I'm going to need to do some painting at some point. Everything's just red, except for the buggy. It's orange. Alright, but I need to come over here and grab some copper. Which, that's not a lot. But I could put that scrap in there and melt that down. And we'll just uh, 
grab what we can out of there and come over here and drop it off. Uh, but we're going to need more copper. The only copper we're getting in is out of that stone. And that's very inefficient. I do need to head up to the uh, north-northeast to the actual copper mine. Or the copper deposit and make a mine there. But chucking stuff into the welder on the buggy ah, it's not very efficient I do need a dedicated vehicle for hauling which is another reason to build up these machines so I have better production capacity and more automated production capacity is I need to build a vehicle but the problem with building a vehicle is that uh, this guy here he started with batteries this is the vehicle I started with so he has all these little lithium batteries he's got these big acid batteries I can't make those well I mean I can I have the production facilities to make those especially once I get this assembler up online because it makes acid power cells But, those acid power cells, I do believe they do I have. Uh, not here. Oh, capacitors. Okay. That takes things, that uh, ceramic capacitor cell. Don't know what those take to build. But I do believe something could make the one of these. Yeah, the bench. Oops. Steel plate. I have those. Copper. I have a little bit of it. Copper wire. Yeah, we got some of those. Sulfur. I don't have. And ice. Sulfur and ice. I don't have. So I will not be making batteries. So, the other power option that I have are hydrogen engines and gasoline engines. I definitely don't have access to gasoline. Hydrogen, at the moment, I also don't have access to it's hydrogen uh, takes water so that means I'd have to go down to the water collect some and then process it into hydrogen that's that's how we get hydrogen here which I don't have anything to collect the water with and I also don't have any way to process it. Hmm. And I have an unknown signal there that I'm just... I'm ignoring that one. But... Maybe if I get rid of this... Uh, this up here. Really... I mean, I could probably still use it for something. But, at the moment, I don't need it. So let's get rid of... This. And for now, I'm going to see if I can turn this into uh, a machine that can collect some water. So, I'm going to need some cargo. Medium cargo container. That's a large one. It would be really nice, but it's, it's too large for this size of rover. So, we're, we're going to go with the medium, which is aluminum plate, 
construction comp, motor, copper wire, basic computers. That should be pretty simple to make up. And then we need a collector, which should also be pretty simple. So if I just slap one of these on the back for cargo space, and then I, oh, this has got the side ports, or maybe got the big ports there that will line up perfectly and the uh, collector snout will be on the bottom so then all I have to do drive down to the water back in suck up some water and drive back home in theory so uh, yeah let's uh, get that built up and uh, I might have to Put some extra wheels on the back, though. Uh, so let's grab... Some components to get us started. Yeah, scrap metal all processed. Alright. So... Place the cargo there. Then collector there. But then that's going to be a lot of weight on the back. But uh, we'll get these welded up and see how it does see if I drag tail or not motors of course you little bench are you, are you still no you're out of tube you need a large tube so good thing we have a machine right here that is making large tubes yeah let's grab those Okay, how do you, how do you drive? Ridiculous. But yeah. That's very tippy. I'm using the gyroscopes to do this. You can also lift it right up too. Gyroscopes are quite powerful. Well, all right, this might work. Uh, let's just clear off those collector. We're gonna slap down there, toggle on and off. Right now it is on, we don't need it on. All right, let's go find us some water to suck.
All right, and here is the water. We got this really nice looking beach. I got a little sand pile over there. Oh man, make a little beach house down here. It's right next to the uh, ocean. Get a little beach towel. Sit out here, soak up the sun, which is the setting. All right. Well, that's uh, for now. Let's just see if my uh, little sucker works. Okay, so let's just back into the water. Not too far, so I don't get stuck. All right, so my weight's at 11,000 kilograms down there in the bottom right. And let's turn on the collector. And we are not, we're not oh. Okay. We're gaining some weight. All right, so let's just park and check out the inventory. Oh yeah, look at that. We are sucking up some ice. Which, I know, I'm sucking up water, it's turning into ice. Ice is the default space engineer uh, resource. This water is a mod. Somebody, oh gosh, and I'm drowning. Oh, the tide's coming in. <laughs> I need to, uh, oh geez. Turn off the collector. Let's take our ice. We actually are very tippy, but I think we'll be okay. All right, our storage is about halfway, looks like. Then you mind my blue bar right up top. Okay, so, yeah. We got almost 5,000 ice. signal coming in all right let's take our ice home and uh, get this unknown signal on the way as we drive off into the sunset Or that, I know, whoa, there it comes dropping in. Whoa, we're a little bit skittish there. Definitely doesn't like the weight hanging off the back end. Alright, so let's just uh, see if we can perk up right underneath this guy. Oh wait. No 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 no. No 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 no. Is this this is the one with the thruster on it? Oh Aha. I got kids pajamas helmet. Yeah, I'll smile the face on it. Ah. But it did not take off on us. Alright. We don't need your light. What do you got for us? Oh, so funny. Med kits. Hopefully I won't need those falling off our roof anymore. Alright. Well, I'm going to grind this up as the sun is definitely going down. And I guess I'm going to be driving back in the dark. Alright, guys. We made it back home. And, uh... Ember... Decided to drop off a supply cache over there. And Ember is also flying overhead. But the supply cache. That sounds fun, actually. That sounds like something that I would love to go and uh, snatch for them. I mean, I don't have any bad feelings about Ember. But if they're just going to... Uh, Leave supply drops laying around. 
They are my enemy. They are not friendly. That might be worth checking out in the future, but for now, it is getting actually nighttime on the outside. But uh, this roof, now that it is extended, it definitely makes the inside of the hangar dark too. I'm going to have to get lights in here at some point once I actually get the point of making lights. And I have a lot of welding to finish up here, but this piston, it has served its purpose. It doesn't have to be here anymore. If this goes correctly, I should be able to just uh, remove this piston and that roof should uh, stay up there. It should be all welded up. Should be. And it is. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have to get up there and uh, clean up those bits for a bit, but it stayed. And then we can actually come back up top. And, uh,. Next up is these merge blocks. I should be able to just grind them away. Okay, nothing's falling and exploding yet. All right, there we go. Roof is complete. Well, it's very far from complete, but it's a part of the base now. I can almost reach that. All right, but on to oh, I forgot to drop off the money into the seat. I, I don't actually have any money in the seat at the moment. Let's just drop that thing. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, store the extra med kits in there with the extra tools and all the ammo that we still can't use. All right, so we need an H2O2 generator. Need one of those, I uh, need steel plate to start. Then we need some tanks. So we need a hydrogen tank. So that's that side of uh, the equation. And we need an oxygen tank when we split water, we get oxygen and you get hydrogen. Those are both small grid tanks. We need, we need large grid tanks. There we go. There's the big boys. This is a beautiful tank for hydrogen. Oxygen, all I get is this guy. Just a small little tank. Hydrogen, I get a big hydrogen. Oh, which I didn't even check to see. All right, steel plate, large steel tube, small steel tube, basic computer. Oh yeah, we can most definitely make that. Just takes a lot of components. But I'm thinking I already have this cargo container here that I'm not even using. And if I build a rover that's going to be powered by hydrogen, I need to be able to refuel it here. So I'm thinking of putting, you're making noise, why are you so jittery? Anyway, putting the hydrogen oxygen stuff all out here I need to go grab steel plate get this stuff started okay grab us some steel All right, so six. So if I stick 
the generator itself, it will actually fit right there. Real nice. And then I'll have to run my, oops, my uh, conveyor ports. Out here. That's a big one. It's going to take up a lot of room, but it is there that I need right in the middle. Well, let's just put a conveyor junction and find my favorite layer two sneak him out a couple and then conveyor junction again Doesn't matter which way. There. And I will just sit out here. Um, I'm not going to be able to get underneath there once to weld up those. I'm going to have to weld those up before placing that. Alright, so get rid of that. Ooh, I just had an idea. Instead of doing it up like that, I can actually sneak the oxygen tank there. I don't know if I'll ever have any real use for the oxygen tank. But it'd be nice to have some stored up if I ever need to. I don't know if I'm ever going to space where I'm going to need oxygen, but I might as well have the tank. All right, and then place big hydrogen tank on top of there. And then I'll have to uh, probably chop into this floor and run conveyoring down here to have a port for the rover to plug into to suck the hydrogen out. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Alright, well. Oh, and the other. Oops, I don't have any steel plate left. I'll go in there. And then the assembler. Need to get that up and running as well. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna continue my theme. Probably put the assembly rank right here. Oh no. I just realized I have a problem with building the assembler. This assembler takes metal grids. Metal grids take cobalt. I do not have cobalt. And I do believe the closest cobalt is north of the copper. <sighs> Well, this is where I want this machine, so I'm going to build up what I can and get it conveyed up and started. 
That means I need cobalt before I can make solar panels. Oh man, so that means I need that rover. Rover is next up on the list. Rover with some real storage capacity that does not have my spawn point on it. If I lose this, the one machine, it's game over. So I want to actually leave this behind at the base, take the other rover out on adventures. That way, if I get attacked out on the road, I can at least respawn back on the base and then cry myself to sleep because I lost my rover, but not my spot point. I really would like to leave this guy at the base. So, no assembler. Yes on hydrogen production and oxygen. That's what I need to focus on. So I can get these facilities up and running. And then work on a large cargo container. Large cargo container. Rover. So I have some real storage capacity. Yes. That's on the to-do list. But not tonight. I'm going to go grab that on a signal seeing how it's so close. And I will see you guys next time. Right. No, I won't. I won't see you. You will see me next time. Yeah, that's more appropriate. All right. Good night, guys. Or girls. Probably never a girl. Most likely, guys. Right, what you gonna give me? Try my luck. <sighs> yep. That's my luck. Oh! Never mind. I just got myself an enhanced hand drill. And 500 bucks. So, my luck ended up being good after all.